One thing we don't want to see rise, the gas prices. Mm. And it's what everyone's talking about, but just how high will they actually climb? Look at this. The average price for a gallon of gas in Syracuse, no thank you, is four fifty-six right now. It's up twenty-eight cents from a week ago. That was fast. And nationwide, four forty. Never thought I wanted to just pay the national average. I know. What's up with that? And these spiking gas prices are coming just at a time we head into the summer. More people will be actually traveling, right? So now we're going to go to News Channel 9's Ashley Cafaro joining us with ways you can save. Also, the reason we're seeing these spiking prices. So what are experts saying, Ash? Yeah, Nicole and Ryan, pain at the pump continues, and part of the blame is still on Russia's invasion of Ukraine, straining the supply of oil. AAA experts say the cost of oil accounts for more than half of the pump price itself, so more expensive oil means more expensive gas. And like you said, these soaring gas prices are coming just as we head into the summer, with more people on the road. So what can you do to make that tank of gas go as far as possible? AAA has some tips. I always recommend that motorists map their routes out ahead of time. Try to avoid peak traffic times like rush hour, maybe even combining errands into one trip so they're not constantly going back and forth from the house. Um, try to use cruise control when possible and always make sure that your tire pressure is at the recommended level for your car. Um, and even check to see if you have unnecessary or bulky items in your car that are really weighing it down when you're going out on those trips. And we'll be keeping an eye on gas prices as they continue to rise. For more details on what AAA has to say, go to localsyr.com. Nicole and Ryan. You say you're going to be uh, taking a